Welcome to Pellet Tech 101. Today I want to show you how to make a test cord. So a test cord can be a really helpful tool when we're trying to decipher whether or not we have a problem with our stove and we want to be able to direct test one of our motors, whether it be an auger motor, a combustion fan, a distribution fan. By making a test cord and running direct power to that motor, it's going to tell us either A, the motor is good, or B, the motor is bad. So it's a very handy tool as we troubleshoot. And uh, what I have here is I just have an old extension cord. Some folks will use an old lamp cord. Uh, you can really use just about anything, whether it's a two wire or a three wire. Uh, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to snip off the end of it here, and then we're going to put a couple connectors so that we can connect it directly to our motor leads. So I just have a standard wire cutter and stripper tool. So I'm just going to simply cut off the end. And from there, I want to peel back this outer coating. I need to cut it just a little bit more. Once we peel that back, we're basically going to have a white, a black, and a green. So we have a hot, a neutral, and a ground. So the green, the ground wire, is not a wire that we need. So we essentially, we just want to strip the black and the white here. So I'm going to use my handy wire strippers here. And then once I have them stripped, I want to make sure you get a good connection within those wire connectors here. So this motor that we're using, it actually has a male and a female. Some motors will have two males, some motors will have two females. So you want to put the right connectors on the jumper accordingly. So it does not matter which wire connects to which. So we're just creating continuity as we attach those to our motor. So I'm just going to go ahead and crimp this down on there. So give it a nice little tug, make sure that it's secure. And we'll go ahead and put on the other connector. Same thing, we're just going to crimp this down nice and secure. Just like that. Now we officially have a test coil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in my motor directly to this. So male to female. female to male. And once we have that secured, then we can go ahead and we can plug this directly into the wall. I have an extension cord here set up and ready to go. And right away we're able to test our motor here. So again, whether it's an auger motor, whether it's a combustion fan, a distribution fan, if you need to direct test the motor and make sure that it's not one of the safety switches that's shutting it off, by creating a test cord like this, we can test our motors directly with 120 volt power. And again, it's gonna let us know either A, it's working, or B, it's bad. It's a great way to troubleshoot, and uh, it's an excellent tool to have. So thanks again for joining us for another session of Pellet Tech 101, and we'll see you soon.